What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So in my previous live streams, like a few of my previous live streams, I've talked about crypto gems. And there are plenty of different crypto gems that are out there that you can find maybe a 2x, 3x, you know, 10x. But there's some out there where you're trying to find, you know, that good, you know, 50x or 100x or maybe 1000x. But those opportunities are kind of scarce, right? You find a, a lot of plays that may be at a $1 million market cap and you're looking to grow it to that $100 million market cap, a 100x. How do you find those? Well, you have to look at some of the lower end positions that are kind of just getting started in certain sectors. And you have to also look at sectors that may be growing right now, whether it's like Internet of Things or whether it's Telegram bots or, you know, whether it's, you know, exchange coins, whatever it is, right? You're looking for sectors that are growing at that moment. And one sector from what I've heard and by experience of people reaching out to me is Telegram bots. You know, there have been a, uh, three people that have reached out to me about Telegram bots. And one person, you know, reached out to me and I was like, okay, I'll go ahead and check it out. I ended up checking it out a little bit, but then didn't really pay it any mind. And the second person, I was like, okay, this seems weird that this is happening within the same day or two days or so, like within 24 hours. Uh, but then you had a third person that came within, you know, maybe three days of that. And it was just like, okay, I need to check this out, which I've never really heard of just Telegram bots and um, you know different projects associated with it. So the position that we're gonna talk about today that came across my desk is Nerd Token. Nerd Token is a Telegram bot. Uh, let me show you guys, just give you a little bit of an overview, just a slight overview. Um, it's the ultimate Telegram bot for cryptocurrency trading designed uh, to simplify your research process and boost your trading experience. So. It definitely seems like it does have a place where, you know, maybe some people don't see that opportunity or, or will not see that opportunity. Now, if I had to compare it to another project in the form of growth or anything, it would be compared to like Banana Gun. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, which is currently at $13, $13 and it's up 8% on the day. We're seeing it at a $30 million market cap with many different uh, markets that it's available on, different uh, market pairings that they have. Now, NerdBot is not too far behind where you see it at 18 cents. It's at a $2 million market cap. You have about $1 million worth of trading volume, meaning that you're looking at about a 50% volume to market cap ratio. It has 100 million total supply. So basically, you know that it can grow to a lot higher level where instead of seeing those 0.00000 uh, levels, you're not really seeing that. You're seeing um, much more than that, where you can actually see a whole cents and whole dollars that it could possibly get to there. Now, just to give you a little bit more information uh, within it, um, they already have the product built and has 120 plus thousand active users in 75 countries. They're also looking to build a uh, multi-chain, so NerdBot multi-chain launching uh, with exclusive multi-chain upgrades. Users are now able to catch valuable opportunities across five networks: Ethereum, Polygon, um, Optimism, Base. You can see that there that they're looking to, um, you know, have all these opportunities for people and launch this multi-chain, which is absolutely phenomenal to be able to express yourself or spread to different networks uh, is really really good. And they do have a NerdBot subscription, which each NerdBot subscription uh, will burn a part of Nerd Token, which is good for the token growth. And you all know that I'm big fans. Uh, I'm a big fan of burns, a huge fan of burns. I like seeing uh, coins that are deflationary in any aspect in order to increase the overall price value of the position, as well as you know just increasing the strength of the liquidity that is you know um, standard there within the position. Now I've looked into it a, a little bit. And as I was looking into it, you know, one thing that made me a little bit more comfortable with it was definitely more towards the exchanges. You know, I'm, when I see coins that are implemented on exchanges, now let me just break down my kind of process um, when it comes to finding a crypto gem. Finding a crypto gem, I look at, you know, where the market cap is. I'm trying to see a low market cap. I'm trying to see a good comparison to volume. I'm trying to see some uh, different exchanges that it is available on. 
would love to see an S tier exchange, but definitely can settle for a tier one or tier two exchange because it shows the growth potential. It shows where they are going. And you see MEXC, you see BitGet and Gate.io, some pretty big names that are sitting there as well as Uniswap. It's not just a Uniswap project. Anything that's just a Uniswap project, like you're really, really early stages or in something that really doesn't have that potential to, to grow. And it looks like this is kind of, you know, the opposite there when you are seeing um, that growth potential that's there. Now, if you want to buy it, I will provide uh, links down below. If you want to buy it on Uniswap, I'll put all of the links down below where you guys can check it out. But it definitely is something that maybe has crossed my desk to show a little bit to where it may enter like a watch list, right? It doesn't mean that you necessarily have to buy it. I think you guys are the ultimate decision on whether you are going to make that move into the play or not. Uh, I just implore you guys to research as much as you can into any project that you get into, whether it's this one or any other project. I definitely think that you guys should research as much as you possibly can, because the more you know, the more comfortable you feel about being in that situation, uh, being in that position. So definitely um, you know, check out any of the links that are down below. If you guys want to get it um, on any of the exchanges, then feel free to get it on any of those exchanges or at least check it out. But give it a look. Um, if you wanted to know the tokenomics, uh, I do want to go into nerd token and basically see the distribution of the coins. So there's 1,500 holders, as if I don't remember. Um, uh, I believe I do remember that 1,500, like 70 holders. Um, but you're seeing, you know, 10% that's in the seed round, 10% public. You have 40% that's in the community fund, uh, 10% that's in marketing, marketing and partnerships, 5% airdrop, 5% liquidity, 20% team and advisor. And then that's, you know, the whole 100%, which would be 100 million. So again, if you guys want to go and check it out, feel free to give them a look. Um, it doesn't look like a bad play. It looks like something that could be uh, something that moves from at least a one million to a five million dollar market cap, or one million to you know a ten million dollar market cap. But I think it can go a lot further than that, especially with the exchanges again that they're already on, and then the continuation of that. So. You guys make that uh, determining factor on whether you were going to get into that position um, or not. And, um, you know, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I'm sure there will be people that are not for it. And I'm sure there will be people that are for the research portion of it. So definitely go ahead and check that out. But guys, if you could make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more of these videos. Also make sure you check out any of the links that are down below. It does help out the channel. And if you also want to follow me on Rumble, make sure you guys follow me on Rumble. If you don't know what that is, it's a video service platform where we upload you know, the same type of content, crypto content, stock related content, all of that stuff. If you want to go and check that out again, that link should be somewhere in the description, whether it's at the top or it's uh, closer to the bottom, feel free to check that out. But you know, I appreciate you guys listening to this. If you guys want to, um, you know, tell me what any, any type of gems that you do have lately that are surrounding, you know, maybe this sector or, or different sectors, it doesn't really matter. Feel free to, um, you know, put that down in the comment section below and uh, what you believe is going to be the next uh, banger play. So anyways, I'm going to get out of here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.